guys. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for Valentine's Day. Now, I know a lot of people have been stepping out the box and doing like brown smoky eyes and just smoky eyes in general that are not very pinkish. But I absolutely love pink. I usually don't wear on my eyes too often. I usually go for a more neutral or black smoky eye if I am going somewhere. But I think Valentine's Day is just a perfect, perfect time just to go in for a nice pink look whether you're smoking it out or it's just a very neutral look. Going out with the girls or that significant other, I think pink is just absolutely beautiful and very, very feminine. So most of the products that I have here are drugstore. So let's go ahead and get started. I already done my face makeup. Um, for foundation, I use the Maybelline Better Skin in the shade Twenty Classic Ivory. And for concealer, I use the Instant Age Rewind by also by Maybelline in the shade. Fair. And I did go ahead and bronze up the skin and I just used my Hula Bronzer from Benefit. I set my entire face using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. So to start off with the eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and prime them using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I absolutely love using this concealer to prime the eyes mainly because it does cancel out any darkness, any redness. And it just gives a nice, clean surface to work with and it's also very brightening so any any shadows that you're going to put on top of this primer is really going it's really going to pop and I just used the Morphe M173 to go ahead and blend that out now to set that concealer I'm just going to go in with the Kat Von D shade and light palette I'm just going to go ahead and use the two shades at the top these shades are also used to set under my eye and I just find that using them to sh set my concealer as well just you just works really well at balancing everything out I'm just going to go ahead and take Pink Mauve from the Lorac Pro Palette and I'm going to use that as my transition shade I actually wore this the same exact look to a baby shower and actually my friend that was pregnant was having a girl so this look just worked absolutely perfect for that. Put that all in the crease, just doing windshield wiper motions. And now I do have a more hooded eye, so I do tend to take my I do tend to take my shadow a little bit higher than my original crease, just just to make sure that I carve out that crease really nicely. So what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Are you going out with a significant other, family, friends, girlfriends, guy friends? What are you guys doing? I've been with my significant other for almost 10 years now. So I've had a Valentine for quite a while. And I do have an 8-year-old daughter who likes to consider herself also my Valentine. So... I haven't really done anything with anyone else besides them for Valentine's Day in quite a while. So what are you guys doing? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are up to for Valentine's Day. Next shade that I'm going to take is going to be from the Reveal 2 palette. And I'm going to go in with this Pinky Mauve. With this Pinky Mauve right here at the top. The shade of pink is a little bit darker in the Reveal palette than it is in the... The Rock Pro. So what I'm going to do is just focus that more into my actual crease and just define that a little bit more. And now I'm going to go in with one of Maybelline's color tattoos in inked in pink. And I'm just going to take that on a BH Cosmetics 102. I'm just going to put that all over the lid. I do find these, I, I do find that these work a little bit better when applied with the fingers. But I do have rather long nails right now and I don't want them to I don't want any product to get underneath my nails so this will work fine 
and zoom you guys in just a little bit. If you hear a, if you hear a ringing or a bell in the background, that's just my dog's collar. gonna go in with the Sedona Lace EB15 with no additional product and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend those two products together the Maybelline tattoo along with that crease shade just so we don't have any harsh lines now you could totally leave this look just as it is but I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and use this purpley mauvey shade at the bottom and just put that into the outer V just to deepen it up a little bit more. the same brush from before and just blend that out and now before I finish the eyes what I'm gonna go ahead and do is apply some blush and I'm gonna use the studio makeup blush in wildflower and this is just an absolute beautiful really pinky blush and I'm just gonna apply that to the apples of my cheeks I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics 109 and just kind of blend that out. The highlight that I'm gonna use is gonna be from the Anastasia Gleam Glow Kit, and I'm gonna use the sh I'm gonna go in with the shade Starburst. And I'm actually and I'm actually gonna mix Starburst and Crushed Pearl together just so it's not too too pink on the cheeks, but you do have that pink, that really pretty pink sheen. Oh girl, that highlight though, jeez. I'm gonna go back into that Revia palette and I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take the darkest shade that we used. I'm gonna take it on a a flat shader brush, and I'm just gonna press that directly into that lower lash line. Sorry, guys, I cannot see. I'm gonna take that first, the first pinky mauve shade that we use in the Revere palette, and I'm just going to smoke that out just a little bit, just to give us a little smokiness. I do not like that brush. Um, let's try this. You're gonna put a little bit of this on the upper on the upper lash line and go ahead and smoke it in and go ahead and smoke it out with a pencil brush after. Go ahead and curl. Then I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm 
I go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational on the upper lashes. And then for the my lower lashes, I am going to go in with Wet Ma's Mega Slim Skinny Mascara. I abs I have been loving this. Um, this was actually in my January favorites video, and I have still been using it nonstop on my lower lashes. It just separates them so well. It makes them look nice and thick and full. To finish off the look, I'm going to go in with Maybelline's Lipstick and Blushing Bud. I have to say, I haven't really worn this too, too much. Just because it's my skin tone, I do find that it is a little bit light. And it does kind of wash me out a little bit. Well, I just ran with this look. No, there ain't no stopping us. Blow without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving.